Yeah, it's interesting um, how you brought up COVID and how that affected um, like a lot of like urban planning and like zoning things. Just because uh, before COVID, my professor mentioned that like there wasn't that much interest in urban forestry and not not like from the general public, I guess. But after like the lockdowns happened and people were like, oh, we can't really go anywhere. They, the only place they could really go was just to like outdoor public spaces. They started to realize like the importance of like having those be like accessible and like having them like Mm -hmm. be like well-designed and like, yeah, just accessibility is like a big issue just because um, like, like you said, it's kind of ties into like how like the cities aren't um, walkable because like, what's the point of having a park if you have to like, I mean, I'm obviously driving to a park is nice, but like having a park where you can walk to is just so much like better like, and there's, like, lots of studies yeah, that support this, that people just use parks more if they live close to them and act, can actually walk to them. Um, I believe that, like, the like the perfect distance to live, a, like, um, for, like, from a park is, like, around 300 meters. And, like, that's, like, the kind of, like, the golden number for people to actually use right. it and, like, um, have it be considered accessible. Um, I believe it's, like, you, you should have, like, at least three green spaces 300 meters away from your house is, like like what urban planners like try to like design um um Sheesh. but like obviously i don't think it's like in radical. reality that happens or it has happened in the past but i guess moving forward like that's what they're trying to aim for um but yeah, yeah covid just like made That'd the general public though. really realize nice. like oh it's really important to have green spaces in urban settings because obviously you can drive out like an hour or two and go on a hike on a mountain but just like it's so important to just have like those like small little like times in the day like for 15 minutes you just go out to a park and like get some fresh air and then go back Mm -hmm. to your apartment or whatever and continue working like it's that's just like really important and i don't think people realize that until covid happened yeah just having that to be incorporated into everyday life as supposed to be a special event and special activity where you really go out you know because taking a drive into into the mountains and, and enjoying nature that way for hikes and whatnot it's extremely nice for a lot of people but that isn't necessarily a everyday event and it's not going to be every everyday event for the average person uh, and what were you going to bring up lorenzo Man, that reminds me of uh, during lockdown, me and Shari were planning a hike. He's like, oh, yeah, yeah, we'll find something. Yeah, we'll find something to hike on the day or whatever, something like that. And then we wanted to do it in South Surrey. And we're like, we're looking. And I was like, there's nothing in South Surrey. There's nothing. I mean, I guess we wanted to do a hike like on a mountain. And there's no mountains in South Surrey, so that might be an issue. But <laughs> beyond that, we were shocked. There was like no good walks at all. Like it was just like, what, what's it called? Blackie Spit Park or whatever, something uh-huh. like that. Yeah, it's I. I mean, there there are some places. Sure you've been there like a million times. <laughs> yeah, there are places like around Semiamu and then like uh, close closer to kind of um, going down to the beach. You know, there are places the around our yeah, old yeah. high school that's kind of nice, but those aren't very long. Yeah, and also overall, yeah, exactly. The, the like quality is going to come all the way up from Abbotsford, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. Yeah, so but we, we, ah, we, nah, yeah. we used to go on walks during COVID time in, uh, in our neighborhood when I was back during oh, the yeah, summer. But that was, mm-hmm. Yeah, that was just so easy, though, because you live so close. If Shari yeah. was going to come out all the way here, uh, we can't do those walks if he's putting mm-hmm. in all that mm-hmm. effort, you know what I mean? No, 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 I would just can't bring just up that, like, during COVID yeah. times, that, like, for the average person, the time they spend outside and just walking and having that as activity has definitely uh, increased dramatically. And I could I could definitely mm-hmm. see how that would raise awareness for urban forestry and the way cities are designed overall. And you know, when you're talking about that, I was just thinking about how if you're if you have you know a pets, right? Like, just take them out for for a walk in a nice green space like that's something that's just really nice and if you have to actually get in a car and drive to a space like that 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 changes the whole scenario right it's just a very different feeling to it and and it literally increases the space um not just like yes it literally increases space physically but mentally it, it becomes a different concept it becomes a different activity 
And uh, it's not just getting getting out of your house and there you're already basically doing the activity, right? Because if you're really close to the walk and you're going to walk there anyways, that's kind of part of the activity. Whereas if you have to get in the car and drive for like, even if it's a short drive, even if it's like a 10 minute drive, you're still getting out, getting to the car, getting driving there, parking, and then starting the activity, right? So there's like this extra step. So not only physical distance, but this extra step in there changes the concept and feels more distant from you from kind of a mental aspect, right? That, that's, that's what I think, at least. Yeah, for sure. I think like, yeah, accessibility is not just distance. It's also 100%. just how, like how easily you can access that space. And definitely like um, driving out adds like a lot of like um, just extra factors into it that might just be too much trouble for people to like actually, go, you know, go ahead and go through with it. 